Tech Knowledge every Friday is here. David Jiddu. David, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, man? I'm great. Yourself? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Great, uh, great, Life is great. soft like your beard. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to learn how to recover deleted files. Yes. Uh, yeah. I always ask that question. My tech people could never tell me. I said, listen, when you the thing go. <laughs> I know if I take my trash to the rubbish bin, it's there. And yeah. then they take it out. But when you delete files, where do they go? Yeah. Okay. Great. Where did it go? Uh, all right, so Carl, uh, we are you're talking about we have device, you have computers, you have mobile phones. So uh, the normal way, when you delete your files, it goes to your bin. Okay. Right. Now, when it's been deleted permanently, hmm. you feel that it's gone. It's yes. not done. Yeah. It's gone. It's so not gone. There's nothing there. Yeah. You uh, still have it back. So that's why we have other recovery tools that could do that job for you. Okay. Normally, you feel that it's gone from the PC. No, but it's hiding somewhere in your sectors so that you can bring it back. And okay. even uh, the worst scenarios, there are forensic tools that can really also solve your problem or can bring those files back. So when your files are deleted mm -hmm. across the social platforms or uh, your, your email, there are ways to get them back. Okay. But some of them, they're a bit challenging. That's why today we are going to talk about that. So don't panic when you go to your, your recycle bin and you're not able to see the files. There are ways to get them, and that's what we're going to look at. So this is like uh, e-resurrection. Yeah. You're resurrecting like, the files. Yeah. The files are gone and you bring them yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. All Show right, us. so Kalf, uh, uh, let's start with our social platforms, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, on the Instagram. Instagram, uh, this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So, so here, Kalf, uh, this is how on your mobile phone you're going to have it, right? Mm -hmm. So normally here on your mobile phone, you have the profile, then you will see these three icons there, right? Oh. So you click on these three lines there, mm -hmm. right? Then you go to recently deleted, deleted, right? Then those ones, it keeps them for some number of days. Okay. Yes, then you can recover it from that side, right? Okay. On Facebook too, it's quite the same. You mm -hmm. go to where your profile is, you see three dots there, then mm -hmm. you go to activity locks, mm -hmm. then you go there, you go to your trash, then you bring them back, right? Instagram and Facebook are brother and sister, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Something like that. Right. Yeah. So, so that happens to Facebook, okay. and so let's go to our mobile phones, calf. Okay. You know, so calf. Sometimes we do also backups on our devices, yeah. right? So now, when assuming you can't find a picture on your mobile phone, right? Mm -hmm. What you can do is you go, you go to Google. Some of them have it on their phone, so you can go to the App Store, the Play Store, mm -hmm. and search for. Google Photos. Google Photos. Right, or right. Photos. So here, the, the link to go there is photos.google.com, right? So you go to photos.google.com, right? So it takes you for this current account, mm -hmm. that Gmail account was just created for this presentation. Okay. So I don't have any photos there. But in case, should, in case I have it, mm -hmm. and I delete them from the phone, Google have a backup for me. Okay. So I can go to Google for the backup, mm -hmm. right? So now I go to Trash here, mm -hmm. right? Then... I will see the pictures there, okay. then I will just uh, restore it so back. Google Photos. Right, go to Google Photos. Okay. Now, you can also go to here. Now, this Google keeps a lot of information about us, our backups and other stuff. So sometimes when you lose those files, you can go to them for all those backups. Mm -hmm. So the platform to use this morning is to just search for takeout.google.com. Takeout? Takeout. Take out. So right. it's on Google server. Take it out. You see the idea? So I'm taking out whatever Google has about me. So there are a pretty bunch of stuff here that Google, so even an Android device configuration. So here, I can do all these things, right? I can recover all these ones, right? Mm -hmm. Then send them back to my email, right? I'll send them back to my email. So here you are. So this is the platform that we can really do that. So right? take out. Take out. Take so take out. Okay. Okay. All right. So Carl, sometimes on your social platform, let's come to WhatsApp. You are doing it step by step. So let's go to WhatsApp. So sometimes you delete files on WhatsApp. Yes. You know WhatsApp, you can go to settings, go to chat, and the backup, then restore your backup. Right. Sometimes people send messages and get deleted, and you are curious. You want to know what, 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 what the person, person delete? Yes. <laughs> I want to know, right? So there are apps that could do that for you. Really? And they are free. Okay. So the, one of the apps I really use is. N you call, you call it Naughty Save. Naughty Save. Right. So you go to your Play Store, you search for Naughty Save, right? And not only on WhatsApp, but on other platforms. Anytime messages are deleted, when you have this app, you would be able to get it back, okay. right? Or see, see it, right? right? So that is Naughty Save there for you. Right. Now let's go here. 
this is one great and powerful tool called Mini 2 Mobile Recovery. So we have this for both Android and iOS, right? So this very one here is for iOS, right? So you, what you do is you just search for Mini 2 Mobile Recovery. Mm -hmm. Assuming you lose your files on your device and you don't know where it is, where they are, you can use this tool, then you download this tool, then you use it to just recover the files, and right? And for both Android and Apple. Yes, yeah, so we have the yeah. we have the Android version, then we have the iOS version. iOS too. is for Apple people. Yeah, for the Apple, yes. Yeah. Okay. So we have so like this one is just for Apple iOS. and okay. it's for free, okay. right? So you can just use this mini tool to really recover your files when deleted on your device. Okay. Right. Now let's come here. Now we have also this great tool for Dex drill data recovery software mm. right this is also for computers okay. right so your pcs when you lose file as we we're saying that you can't find them in the recycle bin and you are trying to do all the recovery that you could do mm. this tool could really help you this morning and f you find your way out so assuming you have a presentation and you have some few hours to go and your child or your son mistakenly delete your file you can stick to this uh, platform uh, this uh, drill data recovery software and they would really sort you out right so the and next it's at one yeah. all right yeah the next one is called this one recover it recover it okay one of my favorites right so this platform could help you as that you delete right okay. now we have we have if you have your computer we have ways that we can go into the cmd then run some command what's the cmd you go to so here we are using the web mm -hmm. so i'm not able to go into the computer so i cannot really show you okay but if you know cmd is a command prompt okay for your computer so then you, you can go into your cmd and run some few commands then you can also do a recovery through that step but this one we are using the web version so that's why i'm showing you the platform that you can download the okay. tools to do the work for you right so you have recovery uh, recover yeah. it data recovery. right so recover it data so you can normally i go for the free version you of try course. for the free one <laughs> yes yeah, so we normally don't pay for them then let's go to another phone version for this you delete your pictures on your uh, on your android phone and you want to find them right so when you delete your picture on your android phone or you have your pictures your files deleted on your phone sometimes as we say, when people don't know we have recovery uh, we have the bin right even sms when it's deleted you can normally see them you see three dots at where the message is you click on it you go to maybe recycle or trash and it can sit or there for like 30 days it can sit there for 30 or days or 60 days on okay. google is 60 days on some of the mobile platforms it's also 30 days mm -hmm. right then you recover them so if you are not able to do that there's a tool for you to do that and the two years called photo recovery app right so yeah yeah, recovery. yeah. Okay. so this app too is also wow. very good right wow. and these are apps that i have used to see okay. so i'm not sharing something that i haven't used so these are great apps that you can also try to use right so we have this one too here wild horse no desert okay so look for for 4d gig mm -hmm. dig okay. windows, data. Dig windows yeah data yeah okay. yeah all right so you can also check this app check this 4D app. Dig windows yeah. it and then Recovers your files for you. Okay. It recovers your files okay. for you. All right. So let's go next. Yeah. So let's go. This to, one. Yes, please. Okay. All right. HandyRecovery.com. All right. So here, here we are also looking at how we can also restore our backups from our mobile phones because I'm not able to use the mobile phone. Mm -hmm. I just brought in this for you to see. Right. So you can go to your settings. Right, so you mm -hmm. go to your device settings, mm -hmm. right? Then you go to choose account and backup, mm -hmm. right? Then you backup and restore. Mm -hmm. So assuming you lose your files on your device, so you can really already have done a backup, so you can really restore the data, right? So this is the process. On your mobile phone, you go to device settings, you go to account, right? Account and backup. Then you go to backup and restore. Then you restore your file, right? So cap. Those are some of the ways that we can recover our deleted files on our systems okay can okay. you show us yeah so yeah, go there all right let's go to the next one next yeah. one all right so let's go to the next one please and the next one yeah, the next one all right okay. so here we have the same the same platform as i spoke about okay that is recover it so these are there are a lot of tools that do the work for you or can do the work for you but these are the ones that i have tried okay and i have used and i know they do their job perfectly for you Excellent. right 
we have advanced way to also recover this. That as I said, that you can also equally go to your CMD, you run some commands mm -hmm. and get your files uh, restored. But that one, if you are doing it, you are speaking to the system files directly. So anything you do there, if you are not careful, you end up crashing the hard disks or the standard that you are recovering. So if you don't know how to do it, you just seek for expert advice or go to the expert to do it for you so that you wouldn't no crash anything that's why i didn't share that because those ones are highly dedicated if you don't know and you touch something you might crash your hard drive you can use you can uh, use do your own stuff without paying an it expert but for the higher level ones yes. please speak to people like david yeah. and they'll sort you out now some small education what's the difference between a file and a folder all right so cows files are hosted in a folder mm -hmm. so here let's say i can say i'm a file con being contained in this very studio mm -hmm. so the studio here becomes a folder okay. we have the cameras here we have the human beings here and these are the files yeah, and we are the files okay. so the folders are normally the containers okay. so normally we see them with a yellow something exactly right which looks like a real folder yes yeah, like, like a real folder yeah, yeah. then we put all the files in there so we can put a lot of items in Inside that folder. folder but you cannot put a folder in a file Okay. Right, you cannot put a folder. But I can put a folder in another folder. Yes, you can put a yes. folder. You can even have millions of folders in folder. one folder. Yes, okay. yes. So you can have multiple folders. And to create folders, you know, it's quite simple. Yeah. And your PC, it's easy. yes, it's, it's easy. easy. And, and the system can retrieve folders as well, right? Yes, you can retrieve folders, files, and even softwares and other stuff okay. that you want. So after we delete the files in the recycle bin, where do they go? All right, so after you delete the files from the recycle bin, it goes to your the system, right? So we have the system logs where it keeps some information. So those ones are in the file logs. So normally when you, you want to recover them, they are in the logs for if it's a uh, computer, they are there from you go to. So that's why I say that we have another command whereby we can go to the CMD, then we go to the system logs to retrieve them. Okay. So when you delete for, you know, the, the system, have the, the you have the graphical way that is what we are normally using but behind that we have the command line or we have the back where the folders are that we don't normally go there it's only for the IT administrators they normally are said because that place anything that you do you don't know what to do there it can affect or damage the whole PC yeah. say files that I I lost in 2012 can yeah. I yes you can retrieve it based on one the two you are using and also assuming maybe you have a pc of let's say two uh one terabyte right and you've been using it for quite a long time so if you are doing the backup you need to get a very big hard disk because it's going to retrieve everything that has really happened on the pc so if it's 2012 what are, what are, uh, whatever happened on 2013 14, 15, 16, all those files are going to be recovered. So if you don't have a bigger recovery, uh, uh, you, won't have space. You, you won't have space. At the end of the day, you might not go back to the old ones okay. to get it. Yes. So if I get a huge space, I yes, can bring them you, back. Yes, you can bring them. Yeah. Okay. How about if uh, I lose data from a, a formatted pen drive? Yeah. Can, you, can I get yeah, the yeah, data back? Yeah, you can get them back. So most of the software that we share with you can do that. So when anyone who download these files right if you download like to recover it when you put in your, your device, right then they will tell you what do you want to recover is it from external the hard drive okay. or from maybe the desktop or okay. from the document then you will choose what you want to recover so then you need to put in the external so yes you can uh, recover every deleted file from external uh, devices how about uh, so, so external drive yes, yes I, can, yeah. I can and then you, and then maybe sd one. card as well yes yes you can i can yeah. now can i do this normally i see people recovering the files from laptops and pen and 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 desktops can i also re recover files from my phone yes so this was we oh, showed you okay. we showed you some of the yeah. the, the phone softwares right mm -hmm. and some of the softwares for the phones you need to root the phone what does that mean? Yeah, so if you root it, then you is like you jailbreak it. It's like you, you you are really taking off a lot of protective mechanism on the phones, mm. right? And so normally we don't advise people rooting the phone. That's why I'm saying that if you want to go by that, one the person show you what you are doing, or you have to also read about what you are doing because it might be dangerous for you mm -hmm. doing that. So when you root your phone. You are you are permitting that stuff to happen because then you don't have much security or much protection on the phone. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, so uh, 
what else do you have to tell us to share us with us concerning the recovery of the All right, files? so, so re recovering deleting files. So when you have your files deleted, right, don't panic. There are so many ways that you can delete your files, wherever it is. If you read about it, you are not getting the information, then basically speak to a tech guy. Most of the tech guys have the uh, recovery software that they can help you out. They are all about software, so you can recover them. Sometimes even if your machine crashes, uh, you can really get some information out of them. Even I know we watch from movies whereby hard disks, you know, corrupt and all those thousands. They bring them to life. So it's possible when your files are deleted, you can get them back. But we also we also show you some basic and simple ways that you can also try on without affecting or damaging your system, right? So if you delete it from your phone, why don't you go to Google to recover them? But because most of the Google, they save your picture. So that's where you go to Google Photos and you recover most of them, right? Or you can also go to takeout.google.com, yeah. then you get your, your files back. Before I let you go to enjoy your, your weekend, just, just run through the, the, the sites that we can use to delete our files. Just hit on them. Let's all right, all right. So, okay. So, Let's start from here. So, so we that's have Google Photos? Yes, Google right. Photos. Then you go to the trash. Okay. Then you go here. Take out. Take out. Also yes. on Google. On Google. And also for our WhatsApp people who want to read uh, deleted messages from people. Okay. Right. You say notice save. Notice save. Notice save can do that for All you. Right. And one powerful tool for mobile. Okay. Right. So mini to mobile, mobile recovery. recovery. Okay. Then we have we have even this one too, the disk data recovery software. Okay. Then we have the recover it. Right. So you recover everything. This works for both iOS and Windows. One to here to for Android. Right. So that's photo recovery app. Okay. Right. And then this one. That's. This one too, we have the for the dig, yeah. All right. yeah, and we go to the next one. Okay. Then here we went to how we can do that from the, the our phones, okay. right? All right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So we went through this one too. So the same thing, how we can do it from our mobile phones. You go to your device settings. You go to your account backup and restore. Then you restore your data. Can you recover videos as well? Yeah, why not? They okay. are files. Okay. <laughs> what is a file? It's a file. You can recover, you can recover it. Right. All right. So sometimes it's about the gig. Some, some files, maybe you lose almost about a file of two gig. Mm -hmm. So then if you are recovering, you need to get external drive almost about four gig. Of course. Because you have been deleting and other stuff. So they are going to come. Everything that has really saved and transpired on their device is going to come back. Yes. So you don't delete, you don't recover one gig file with one gig external. Because there's no space. It's not going to exactly. work. So you yeah. need to get a big Otherwise, mm -hmm. Accra will be bigger than Ghana. Yes. Which is not correct. That's not correct. All right. Yeah. So yeah. Ghana is the folder and Accra yeah. is the file. Yes. All right. Approximately. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> Accra too can be a folder because we have that's Malam there. That's why it's a file uh, in Accra. That's much. That's much can be a folder. Yes. Because we have Newtown there. Exactly. Newtown can also be a folder yes. because we have your address there. <laughs> you understand? So. And your, 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 so that, that one, because your bedroom too is also a file. Yeah, so inside we, the house. Okay. We have folder, folder, folder. All right. Like yeah. Bros, thank you so much. Uh, how do we get in touch with you? People are curious. They want All right. To know. So it's DK Cyber, the Cyber Zone. My number is mm -hmm. plus 233 And I also have training session for all these things. So in case you want training on all these things, text and other stuff, so you can just contact the number and we'll sort you at CAF. God willing, you won't see me here tomorrow, uh, next week. Oh. I'm, I'm taking a little break. I'm taking a, uh, just a one week. So, okay. so yes. Uh, 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 yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Any shout to anybody? All right, yes. Shout out to the... So... so